How's it going, everybody? This is Etho, and this is my 5,000 subscriber special. And before we get into things, first I think we should talk about the storage room some more. Because last episode got the most comments out of all my videos over, I think it was like 350. So, you guys had a lot to say about it, so we should talk about it a little bit more. Um, this is the pot light idea. I only made four. So that's one option, I don't know. Looks okay, I guess. Looks better than the torches, for sure. The other option... Um, I don't have enough wood to demonstrate it, but is to raise the tracks one block, have stairs facing this way towards the tracks, and stairs facing this way towards the tracks, so it's a nice gentle slope that you can just walk up and down, and then have torches or something underneath the stairs to uh, light up the area through the stairs. So that's another option. What do you think I should do? If I do raise it, uh, I'll probably still have this part here lowered where the sandstone is. But I'll raise it on these uh, long parts here. Um, <laughs> I added iron doors here. Just for the heck of it. Kind of pointless, but kind of fun to place water here nothing happens place water there nothing happens ah but if you place two waters they open up so that's kind of cool And how does that work? Uh, I think I got it opened up still. We have two of uh, Rabbit's water sensors, my compact versions of them. Two, two of them, separate from each other. Uh, the double doors are above these redstone torches. And there's just a wire that uh, attaches to this wire. They merge. Uh, one wire goes to one door here with the one torch delay so that they open and close at the exact same time. The other wire goes around to the other torch. Very simple. For such a complicated thing, it's actually pretty simple. Um, other issue I wanted to talk about was I asked you guys' opinion on the torches versus torches on the ceiling versus the chandelier type things. I'm about 50-50 on them. I could go either way. I think they both look good. Uh, so I left it with you guys. And you guys pretty much went 50-52. I think a few more of you preferred the chandeliers but it was pretty close. And so, since it was so close, rather than making a choice that some people might not be happy with, we are going to leave it up to chance. And I'm giving chandeliers odds though, because I think more people preferred them. So five out of nine chances we're going with chandeliers here. Four out of nine that we're going with uh, the torches. Here we go. Torches win. We're going with torches. And that's all there is to that. Thanks for your input, everybody. Probably shouldn't leave it up to chance, but oh well. Uh, I think it's getting dark now. I'm going to take a nap in this game so that you can see things better. And we'll be back. 
<sighs> okay. Uh, oh yeah, so we had something planned for this episode, didn't we? Uh, what was it again? Oh yeah, the cannons. We're going to go to the cannons. I, I thought I killed this <laughs> stupid thing. Okay. Alright, we got a boat here too. Things are going our way. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I said I was going to uh, make a cannon for every single person that donated. And on our 5,000 subscriber special, we were going to shoot off the cannons. And it, we were going to have an awesome firework display, hopefully. And that was the plan. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, now you guys will see. It was a big project, that's all I can say. So here we are at our underwater base. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I know. Nothing's changed. You know, I did the math and it's just crazy to the idea of making I had 36 donors to make 36 cannons is just too much there's no way so I'm very sorry I wasn't able to do it I thought I could but realistically it's just not something I'm able to do so to make it up to you guys I think I came up with a good idea we are going to finally harvest the clay. No foolies this time. This is it. We're going to harvest the clay. Because I feel bad that I let you guys down. No, we're not going to harvest the clay. Are you kidding me? That would be so lame. Oh. I did it. I made the cannons. 36 of them. And it was insane how much work it was. I started when I was at 4,700 subscribers. And I finished when I was at like fif over 5,100. That's how long it took. I started on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. Wait, where am I going? Oh man, I'm lost. Okay. Yeah, we go this way, I think. Not that I play Minecraft much, maybe an hour or two a day, but still it was a crazy amount of work. Floating island. Um, I always forget how to get to them though. Oh, I left torches. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I think we're gonna go up. There should be a cave around here somewhere. Is that it? Do, do, do. I think this is the cave.
This is not the cave. Okay. Alright, that's the cave. We're just gonna go the lame way. Unless I find the cave. Here they are, guys. Thirty-seven cannons. It's actually supposed to be uh, thirty-six, though, but I accidentally made one too many because somebody uh, repeated a donation that I didn't know, so I made an extra one. And so, thank you to all my, to all the people that donated, all thirty-six of you. Um very appreciative of it and that's why I did this to show my appreciation in my own weird way and also this is gonna be fun for everyone it's fun for me it's fun for you guys everyone that donated gets a cannon and it's fun for my viewers and it shows appreciation to my viewers too even though not everyone donated uh, I still appreciate everyone that leaves comments and stuff, and likes, and favorites, and yada yada yada, all that stuff. And so some of you were wondering about this. We're at $1,098.84. That is Canadian funds, and that's uh, before PayPal takes its cut too. So I think PayPal uh, has like a 6% deduction on that. All right, let's get to the cannons. At the moment, they're not really set up yet. I have to actually pause and set them up. But here are some fun facts about the project. Uh, each cannon has 14 plus 18, 32 redstone, 32 times 37 cannons, is 1,184 redstone. That's just on the surface. That's not counting all the wiring underneath the cannons, which is close to another thousand. So altogether, this was about 2,000 redstone. It's my biggest redstone project yet. This was all made legitimately. No inv edit or MC edit or anything like that. It took several hours. Uh, it takes 185 TNT to load all the cannons, five each. Let's go check them out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to uh, set them up first, finish setting them up, and then we'll check them out. All right, guys, we are back and ready to roll here. Uh, if you're wondering what I was doing, I was doing a couple things. Uh, I'm going to show you something with these cannons. So every cannon has four boosters and a projectile, which goes in the middle here. Actually, I'm going to demonstrate one. This is like the most efficient design I could come up with. And it's not really my design, I'm sure this has been done before. But yeah, you load it like this. Those are the boosters. Then you push, put the projectile here. And it's ready to roll. So every cannon has its own button. It can each one can be individually fired because each one has its own timing system as well over here six repeaters every cannon since it's this wire here which transfers power through this block to the TNT when I originally made these I had four glass blocks all around and I found out that uh, 
power doesn't transmit through glass blocks to the TNT. So I had to change every single cannon. But yeah. So what I was doing is I was randomizing all these times here. I tried to give each one kind of a random time. And also I was randomizing uh, the timers below the cannons. Which you will see soon. This is what a cannon does. Pretty cool. So we're going to walk through the cannons. I've also, uh, I was also backing up the world because as soon as we're done here, I'm going to uh, reload it so that I get all the TNT back. And you might say that's cheating, but I don't think it is because we're doing this for fun. If I was, for example, using TNT to hollow out a big cavern to save time underground, if I backed up my world after doing that, um, I would get the TNT back, but none of the none of the work would be done. So, if the TNT is actually being used for something useful, I can't uh, go back. But this is just for fun. It's we're not doing anything useful, so I don't think there's anything wrong with reverting back. So we're just going to load up all the cannons, and then I'll go through them. And uh, I didn't want to reveal your names, because I'm sure not everybody wants their name posted on the internet. So I've just put your initials, your first name, last name. So you know which cannon is yours. And I tried to make all the cannons unique, because someone asked uh, that I make them a wool cannon. And I thought that was kind of a funny idea, so I made, I tried to make every single one unique. And originally, I wanted to make every cannon a different design, but that would have been way too hard, because just doing every single one the same was pretty hard. And I didn't have enough redstone to be messing around. I actually only have... I have less than two stacks of redstone left. I used my whole supply on this project. And yes, some people have fancier cannons. Um, some people donated quite a bit of money. So, I think it was the right thing to do. But every single one, every single donation was appreciated greatly. I have been able to buy so many bottles of Jack Daniels lately, you have no idea. It's been great. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be terrible? No, I don't have any bad habits, so your money is definitely going for useful things, not to, not to support a drinking addiction or gambling or anything like that. <laughs> Alright, that's not even half of them yet. Oh yeah, and some of you, like I said, if uh, you wanted your name or your YouTube name displayed, uh, just send me a message, and I would uh, use that as your display. But, uh... I wasn't really organized when I said that, and I, so a lot of you that sent me a pr private message on YouTube, I didn't actually uh, I didn't really put your name on the sign because 
I didn't write it down anywhere, and I got well over a thousand private messages in my inbox. So they kind of got lost in my inbox. So I am organized now. So if you want your name changed, send me a message now, and it will definitely get done. The flames are because you like to start flame wars. Haha. -ha. So sorry about that. So I've used initials from uh, what PayPal said the contributor's name was. Do do. <laughs> so many cannons. I haven't fired them yet either, so I don't know how it's gonna look. Hopefully it's cool. We're going to have to delay the secret project even longer, I think, because I'm out of redstone. Unfortunately. But this was a lot of fun too, too. This is the guy that asked for the wool cannon. <laughs> so if you're that's why you guys all have special box for your cannons because of this guy. Some of you have the same initials as each other, so I've added a little bit extra to your name. Both at JS, so yeah. This cannon got destroyed the most out of all the other cannons. Because this cannon over here used to be made out of TNT and it kept self detonating. So, unfortunately, SA, you no longer have a TNT cannon because it blew up over five times and blew up that cannon and kept blowing up that cannon and that one and that one. So, eventually, I had to switch it. If you've ever tried to place a sign on TNT, you're in for a surprise. know what the light stone is for. Many thanks. Thanks to everyone again. Can't say it enough. Snow cannon. I hope you're Canadian. Glass cannon. Oh yeah, so if uh, any of your initials are duplicated, let me know. Poor guy. I have a friend with those initials. <laughs> yeah, if any of your initials are duplicated, uh, let me know and I'll add a little extra to your name. Or give me a secondary name you want me to use.
Oh yeah, and the reason why I abandoned the underwater base, there's actually a few reasons. It would have taken a lot longer to make the cannons because I would have had to clear out the area. I made myself a cannon. This is the extra one. Why not, hey? Yeah, I would have had to clear out the area, which would have taken forever. Another thing is it was 20 blocks or so below uh, sea level, so most of the height was lost. It was only shooting like 10 blocks out of the water at best. I think you know why you get the redstone. So that was one reason. Another reason was... Uh, since there's like 2,000 redstone in this project, I didn't want that quite that close to my base because it probably would have lagged my base even more. Here we are pretty far away. We're close to 300 or so blocks away from the base. Now I'm not sure if we should do... A nighttime launch or daytime launch? Uh, let's do both. I'm going to make another backup. And I'll be right back. Alright, we are set. Ready to go. Backups are made. I think all the timers are set. There's a slim chance some of the cannons might blow up or something terrible might happen. Uh, let's hope for the best. It's never been tested yet. Um, another thing, ideally I would like it to go one blowing up here, here, there, there. Kind of like a random order. Fortunately, that is extremely hard to do, so it's going to be more like a snake pattern. But I tried to make it so it wouldn't be just like, you know, like a sequence that's very lame. I tried to make it as random as I could. Uh, I don't really have the redstone to do anything else. Also... Um, we're going to shoot this off again when we hit a million subscribers and, uh, not a, <laughs> no, 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 a million views. We're going to shoot this off again, so as we get more donors, the number of cannons is going to increase. Eventually, I want to make some cannons shooting horizontally and a few other crazy things might uh, be set up as I get more time, but I've been working on this forever, so I didn't really want to do anything more fancy than what I have here. This time, anyway. Next time might be better. Thank you, everyone. Here we go. This is the launcher. Very excited. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Now I want them all to have flames. That was awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's do a daytime launch now. I think I'm going to speed up the timing a bit too. Uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. I think we're about ready here. So I've sped up all the cannons by f about four torches. So, or about like 1.6 seconds. So it should be quite a bit different now. Be much faster. 
So I want you guys to tell me if you prefer it slow or fast. This is the fast one. And, uh, man, this episode's getting long. There's a lot of things I wanted to do in it. <laughs> but, uh, this has been pretty fun. Also, let me know what you think about putting flames on all the cannons. Or if that's a bad idea. I'd have to have redstone on top of all of them then. Or not redstone, nether rack or whatever you want to call it. Okay, here we go. Daytime launch, first time. High speed, still random. Oh okay, yeah, let's go down low. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. My bad. <sighs> okay. So this is the storage room again. Uh let's go walk back. And we're back. So Oh, that's not good. That's weird. Why didn't that go off? Yeah, that lit up. Oh, it's still glass. I don't know why it doesn't uh, transfer through glass. That's weird. Well, your cannon gets to blow up again. <laughs> don't worry, this is a backup. Um, let's check if any of them, if any more, are like that. I think they pretty much all launched. It's probably just that one because I redid it at the last uh, minute. Yeah, all is good. So I'll fix that for next time. And I wanted to show you how the underground wiring works. The other thousand redstone or whatever. So this is a sandstone block that the button's connected to on the other side. Wire runs down here. Repeater. Another repeater. This is the tunneling I made underground. And let's just follow the wire. So uh, every cannon has these two redstone torches, the vertical wiring. And that's how the signal gets from down here to up to the cannon. And every cannon has at least two repeaters. Some have three. And so it always branches off to the cannon and then either goes this way, this way, this way, or this way. And I planned it out on paper, the pattern I wanted it to take, otherwise I would have just got lost down here.
because I tried to do it random. And it's pretty random. Ran into like a uh, couple underwater pools. So I had to do some terraforming around here. So much wiring. Also, some of uh, the cannons are higher than others, so have to adjust the height with blocks or whatever to make it work. Because the ground's not completely flat above us. And that's it. That's the whole path. So pretty crazy, pretty long. Lots of work. Lots of fun. Hope you guys liked it. I did. Uh, leave your ideas. And... Oh, I was supposed to do one more thing. Well, I forgot what it is. So thank you, everyone. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and subscribing. And for being awesome fans. Ooh.